Now, regardless of whether those rates do reach 4%, there has been a rush to refinance. But for risky borrowers who signed up for subprime loans during the height of the housing boom, getting a lower rate can be a challenge. Still, as one bank is proving, finding an affordable fixed-rate mortgage is possible even for low- and middle-income borrowers. The mortgage industry has changed so much over the past, I don't know, maybe five years or so. Michelle Collins speaks with authority as Senior Vice President of Mortgage Lending for Shore Bank, a community bank with branches serving lower income neighborhoods in Chicago, Detroit and Cleveland. The top lenders in the south side, on the south side of Chicago and on the west side of Chicago are not predominantly banks. They were subprime lenders. During the height of the housing boom, that put Collins under pressure from her colleagues to keep up with the competition. Well, we did have um, even our own staff people, lenders and business development officers that came um, to me and said, you know, we should offer this. We should have stated income loans. We should have no income verification loans. Um, why don't we have um, teaser weight adjustable loans? And we refused. Um, we said, no, we will do a responsible loan or we won't do a loan at all. And so, yes, it did hurt us in that way also, but it's the right thing to do. That decision has Shore Bank in a strong position now. No TARP money even as the competition faces tough times. Many of the subprime lenders have gone away or they have changed their underwriting. Now Shore Bank recognizes the opportunity and the need to get those subprime borrowers into traditional loans. People got into these subprime loans and they have these adjustables. So we launched um, in the fall of 2007 a rescue and prevention loan program. We're getting those people and refinancing them into a 30-year fixed rate, low interest Shore Bank mortgage. Oh, it was fluctuating up and down, more up than down. Gloria Stallworth had an adjustable rate loan on her home for 12 years. Though her first monthly payments were only about $500, they were set to climb over $900 at the start of this year. That's when she started to check out her refinancing options. I didn't want to be one of the ones out and had nowhere to go. I'm actually from Florida and I actually don't have any relatives here. And I didn't want to be one of the ones that say I don't have anywhere to go, so. After getting nowhere with her lender. I had to call this department, I had to call here, talk to this one, so they was actually giving me a run around about it. She reached well, out to Shore Bank and was able to refinance into a fixed rate loan. My rate was about the, be set at, I think it's 9.7, uh, 7.5, something like that. And now it's at 6.25 which is great. My payment was about to go up to 902 and I'm paying 690 uh, now. With her new loan, Stallworth has even been able to find room to remodel her kitchen. <laughs> I can't even describe the day when she told me that they could do it and the interest rate was going to six and it was a fixed rate. Nearly two years into the program, Shore Bank has been able to refinance more than 200 loans. And though the bank has seen denial rates double as borrowers wait too long to get help, the bank remains committed to working with borrowers and to keeping people in their homes. There has been lots of encouragement asking the larger lenders to refinance or modify uh, borrowers' subprime loans. Um, but many times they're not getting any response. They're not returning their calls. Uh, no one's talking to them. They don't know who to talk to. Um, we will talk with them and see if we can help them out. Collins added that Shore Bank has kept a large majority of their loans on their own books. And even when they do sell into the secondary market, they still remain the servicer on those loans. This, according to Collins, has contributed to their success in refinancing troubled loans. Well, to help mortgage refinance